about the genesis of this program that we have going now in the Bronx. I grew up in the Bronx myself, and I've had a dream for many years to try to go back into the borough of my birth and, and attract creative kids who wouldn't otherwise have known that there's a possibility to become career artists, professional artists. And we started a program at the uh, we're calling it the Fred Dolan Art Academy. It's within the PS225 capital. What we're really trying to do is to work with the kids in developing a portfolio so that by the time they're seniors, they'll be able to uh, submit the portfolio to colleges. We're working with them on a number of different things at the same time. Um, I like Neil Law as a teacher. He, he really helps us a lot with the work. I love the program. I like waking up in the morning knowing that I'm going to do something that I like doing. I, I paint here, I sketch here, I, there's a whole bunch of stuff here going on. I find the program very helpful, it's teaching me new skills that I never knew. I feel better, like I can express myself, it makes me feel more open. Because when I draw it, it makes me feel better. And what we're finding is a lot of kids were never motivated. They didn't realize that they could do art for the rest of their lives. And now I even know how to paint now. I never even knew I could paint. Sketching, drawing, landscapes, anything like that, this is the right program. The things like I draw, the more ideas I get into my head. And one of the things that I first mentioned to the kids is, do you guys want to go to college? And there was a small group there in front of me, and when I said that, they said, we can't go to college. And when I asked them why, they said, because it costs money to go to college. And then I explained that if they really worked hard in school and got their grades up, since most of them came from underprivileged families, they would mo most likely uh, be able to get scholarships. It's like life changing because with the scholarship I can go to a college that I want to go in theater arts. So that's basically why I'm coming every Saturday. Yeah, every Saturday. I have something to look forward to every morning instead of just waking up and watching TV and then not doing anything. I'm not just wasting my time. Like let's say you have any problems or something, I come in to just, you know, feel better. Uh, and we're trying to re-emphasize again and again how important it is that they get their grades up as high as they can. My grades have improved. Um, I started from the first quarter with a 77, and now in the second quarter I got an 81, and I'm trying to go for a 90 in the third quarter. My first average was 72.6 and went up to an 80 point average. I had to keep my grades up to 85, 90. A kid that's gone from a 72 average to an 86 average. We have another kid who's just about failing at is now an honor student. I could paint and they say I have a gift for it. My dream is to become a painter. I plan to go to college and major in animation and become a supervising animator. And like, 
although I want to be a singer, I can see myself becoming an artist if I wanted to. I'm definitely going to college. I'm going to go for masters, PhD, the best I could get up to. That's my goal. I see no reason to quit. And I look forward to coming to this art program every year. We're really excited. It's, it seems to me that we've, we've gotten off to a really wonderful beginning and uh, we'll have to keep working at it and see where it goes. Although I think we know where it's going to go. It's about getting them all to college.